All right, everyone. We need to come up with a name for our launch event later this month. I want everyone's best ideas. Hit me. Uh, we did Hex 3.0 in the fall. Let's do Hex 4.0. Everyone's doing point releases right now. Like, when does it stop? I think we go big, like max it out, hex 4,000. Uh, like, like 4, gateway? It's a lot of zeros. I don't what about Apple? They do Mac releases after places in California. What about hex Bakersfield? Or hex San Luis Obispo? What about movies? Uh, Fifty Shades of Hex. Uh, hex 2, The Hex Awakens. Um, hexorcism. Is your business possessed by data intelligence demons? OK, I got it. I got it. We go big. Conference. Hexacon. I'm coming out on stage. Cameras down over the crowd. They're screaming. They're going wild. I come out. I say, welcome to, to Hexacon. And that's, that's it. That's uh, the... What about old school Apple releases, like Big Cats, like Hex Ocelot? What if we name every release after an element? Like Rubidium. Uranium. Cadmium. Unobtainium. Ocelot is a clear way. Calcium? Adamantium. Hex um, blocks. African blocked. animals. Um, Gazelle. Um, uh, Okapi. Uh, Muffin, uh, Kleenex. Uh, you know, you know, uh, Hand sanitizer can. can. Get at, right? um. what, if, what if we just go really simple? Like Hex 2024 spring release? I liked Ocelot. Yeah. Hi, I'm Barry, and welcome to the Hex 2024 Spring Release. Hex is the world's most advanced platform for collaborative analytics and data science. It is the fastest way to ask and answer questions of data. With Hex, you can go from a quick question to a deep dive analysis to a beautiful interactive data app in one end-to-end -end workflow without having to jump between a bunch of different tools. And every day, Hex is being used by thousands of data teams to solve their hardest problems. They love using Hex because it excels at the kind of iterative, deep analysis that actually drives decisions, not, not just cranking out another 2D dashboard. But we're just getting started. Our ultimate mission, our super secret master plan, is to build the first product that brings everyone together with data, whether they're technical or not. There's millions of people out there on finance, ops, sales, marketing, products, engineering, who want to be able to answer questions with data but don't have the right tools. And today's release is all about changing that. Every data project starts with finding the right data, and we want to make that easy. So the first thing we're introducing today is a beautiful no-code data browser. You can get to it right here on the all-new homepage. It's easy to see recently used data, your favorites, and search for tables in your warehouse. And once you've found a table you want to work with, you can see a preview, understand it more deeply with all this documentation and context, and then jump straight into exploring it without writing a single line of SQL. So here's a new Hex project with this data loaded up. And you can see this no-code cell is pointed directly at that table in the warehouse. There's no need for an intermediate query. We can start working with this data directly at any scale. Now, normally, to start working with this data, you'd have to write code in SQL or Python. But there's millions of people working with data every day who don't know either of them. Instead, they're using a secret third programming environment, Excel. So much of society runs out of amazing, powerful, somewhat terrifying Excel workbooks built by people who aren't on data teams. And at Hex, we think these non-technical people are data people too. And we want to give them access to the full power of our platform. So today, we're introducing calculations. That's right, Hex speaks spreadsheet. You can now define new columns with calculations from any table in Hex. As of today, we have around 60 of the most popular function types supported. You can do simple arithmetic or something more complex like an if or switch statement. But as you type, Hex will run a super fast preview on a sample so you can make sure that your function behaves as expected. Now, these functions all compile down to SQL on the back end so we can execute them over the full scale of the underlying data. We are completely eliminating the language-based silos and letting everyone work together in one place, whether you're a hardcore Pythonista, scrappy with SQL, or only speak spreadsheet. But the real power of Hex is in combining multiple cells to explore and understand data. You can think of Hex as a multimodal tool for data work. I can mix and match cells, whether they're code or no code, and each one just accepts and returns data frames that can then be used downstream. You can visualize this data in a chart, filter down visually, reshape it with a pivot, 
and Hex's graph-based execution engine makes sure everything stays up to date automatically. Now, another modality you can use is natural language. Hex's magic AI features make it easy to get some help, whether you're trying to kickstart a new analysis or tracking down an error in a query. In this release, we've made huge improvements to speed and accuracy. AI charts generate 10 times faster, and code edits now use a new approach that's up to 70% faster. Fast enough to feel like a natural, seamless part of your workflow. So this is great. Hex is now accessible to everyone who wants to explore data, not just the technical data practitioners. But there is a problem. You have all these new people coming in and building in Hex. It can be really tough to tell what's the official, governed, trusted asset from the data team versus what's someone's super secret side scratch pad. And so we've built two new tools to help keep your workspace organized. Let's start with reviews. OK, so we can build a quick app from our analysis using Hex's drag and drop tools adding some input parameters, adjusting some sizing. This looks good, and I'll click Publish. But I want another set of eyes on this, so I'll ask for a review. Reviews are just like a Git pull request workflow, but custom built for analytics and built right into Hex. You can request or require a review for any project, and your teammates can see a beautiful diff with the code and data, leave feedback, request changes, and approve your new version. The second new governance and trust feature is endorsed statuses. These can be applied to projects, components, and tables. So it's easy for you to find trusted assets that you can feel confident using and not worry about cluttering up your workspace with a bunch of scratch work. They're customizable for your workspace and can only be configured by workspace managers and admins. Endorsing works really well with reviews. Admins can configure it so an endorsed status always requires a review guaranteeing you get a second set of eyes on really important projects. And statuses can be applied to data, too. Earlier, we went browsing for data, and you might have noticed these on some of the tables. Admins can mark tables as trusted, or approved, or blessed, or cracked, or clutched, or whatever the kids say these days. <laughs> so it's easy for everyone, not just the data team, to understand which tables are reliable and should be used. Is that working? OK. And of course, this is really valuable metadata for our Magic AI features. Endorsed statuses indicate to the model that these are tables that should be used and trusted versus some dev schema that could likely be ignored. If you've made it this far, you must really love videos, so we have one more for you. In 1990, Microsoft put out this amazing commercial for Excel, showing a guy quickly creating a whole spreadsheet to make a deadline for his boss. He's performing a miracle thanks to all these magical features that we now take for granted, like autofill and styling. In the 34 years since, spreadsheets have become ubiquitous because they have a low floor and a high ceiling. They're super easy to get started with, but have unlimited potential for power users. Our ambition with Hex is very similar. We want to make it simple for everyone to do amazing, creative things with data. Now, we always thought this was one of the great all-time tech commercials, and so we made an homage of our own. Check it out. Brandon, how are we today, man? Uh, how are we? We're stressed, Steve. What? Why? I'm done for. And the boss has it in for me. That can't be true. What's she doing? She called me into her office for a, a quick question about user retention ahead of the Dynamax launch next month. I'm sunk. Oh, snap. She wants to look across every channel. And she doesn't just want a historical view. She specifically asked for a forecast, too. And she needs to get an answer to the board EOD. That's end of day, Steve. I'm sweating bullets over here. That's rough, but I don't see the problem. You're an elite data master. Thanks, man, but that kind of analysis takes days, not hours. OK, I'll start in the customer data warehouse, but then I'll need raw event logs. And I'll pipe everything into a notebook to do the forecasting, but oh no. The version control on this is going to be a nightmare. Why are you still using that bogus workflow when you can just do everything in Hex? What is Hex? Hex makes data work easy. It's an integrated workspace for all things data science and analytics. Feast your eyes. Oh. All that stuff you were talking about before, Hex makes it work fast because you don't have to jump between tools. SQL, Python, and no code work right here on any data scale. 
It even has a built-in AI assistant to help you write queries and code way faster. My notebook doesn't do that. Remember what a rat's nest advantage project was? Carrie from Accounto is even in here with me building financial models. But Carrie doesn't know SQL. She doesn't need to, buddy. Hex speaks spreadsheet. These no-code cells let her query the data herself and add spreadsheet columns with functions. I think I'm in love. But how am I gonna handle the forecasting? Hex can handle that too. You stay in one place, use whatever tools or languages you want, whenever you want. Gotta admit, this analysis is looking pretty choice. Mm -hmm. Okay, time to start screenshotting everything. No! With Hex, you can publish your project as an interactive data app. Oh, come on. There's no way we can do that. And 26 floors? You doubt the power of Hex, young one? You can drag and drop all the elements from your project, make them interactive, and publish it with one click. My spreadsheet doesn't do that. The boss doesn't need to download anything. Just send her the link and voila. You're on a one-way highway to Promotion Town. What is wrong with you? Well, well, look who's here. The analysis you asked for. I just sent you a link. Very nice. But what if I wanted to break this out by segment? You just uh, click right there and you can keep exploring the data yourself. This is exactly what I needed. Now, about that Dynamax launch next month. Bring it on.